it's my first day of school with students. I am so excited and happy and I just feel so, I don't know, I feel, I feel so full. I think the last couple of years, you know, not having the students in the classroom, struggling to reach them, really made me feel very empty and I just feel, my heart feels so full. They make my heart happy. I've already had two classes. I didn't have a chance to pop on. I know usually in the morning I do this whole thing where I come in and I show you what I'm doing or whatever. No time for that today. I tried to come in a half hour early, but it was raining here this morning. So the, like the traffic was like crazy and I was worried about getting here on time. Um, but I just wanted to real quickly talk about what I'm doing with my students today. I have um, CP this year and AP. Um, I think I told you guys last video, but um, with my CP students, I had the very first day of school was lab. Like I was doing a lab today, um, first period. So it was kind of crazy. I did a um, equipment scavenger hunt, which was good. So I'm going to give you all those details, but believe it or not, I have to get ready for my next class. It's so quick. This day is going by so fast, but I will definitely check in with you guys after school today when all my classes are finished. It's the end of the day. It was a wonderful day, a wonderful first day, but I am tired. Wow. I mean, to start school with two labs, so I had lab first period and second period, and then ninth period and 10th period, it was a wild day. Um, and then what was also crazy is my 10th period class that I did lab with, they have 30 students. It's amazing the difference with labs that have 24 students versus 30. You may say like, oh, it's only six more. It's incredible, the difference. It's just totally chaotic. Um, but everybody was great. It was fine. Um, so really what I did with the kids today, I didn't do what I usually do. I know in the past I talk about norms and expectations and stuff, but I thought they were going to get a lot of that today. And I really wanted to take advantage of the time that we have in class because Lord knows how long we're going to be in school. So I ended up um, doing a scavenger hunt with the students. And I want to thank Elise. Elise is somebody that shared um, her scavenger hunt with me. I was fortunate enough to meet her after my AACT webinar and we talk and stuff. So Elise, if you're watching, thank you. Um, and basically she gave me the idea for some things that I could do with a scavenger hunt. So there were these rules for the scavenger hunt. Like for example, one person can only check out and look at the equipment at a time. There's no talking during the scavenger hunt. And let's see, oh, uh, no running in the lab, of course. And then um, the last thing is the first person, the first team to complete the page wins. So the page had um, three columns. So it had number, it had um, the name of the piece of equipment, and then the next column had the clue or the function. And so some of them were kind of fun because um, I wanted to make it interesting and funny. And so depending on what row the students were working on, they had to complete the entire row. It, it could be, they could have the name of the piece of the equipment um, blank, they could have had the number blank, or they could have had the function blank, or some um, combination of those things. And so it was really great for me to see the behaviors of the students, see how they act. Um, also, it gave me insight as far as what they remember about lab safety and equipment. I mean, really, that's what I was trying to get across to them. Like, what do, what do you know? You know, give me a starting point. Um, so that was a great activity. And then we transitioned into lab. The lab that I do at the start of the school year is observations of a chemical reaction. However, what I decided to do was change it because again, I wanted to see what the students know. Instead, what I called it was changes in matter because what I had the students do is I had them perform the experiment, but then what I wanted them to do is take whiteboards and identify basically a claim, evidence, and reasoning. And this was based off of is the um, addition of aluminum to the copper two chloride solution a physical or chemical change. So all I had them do after they finished the lab and cleaned up is they grabbed whiteboards and they um, took their whiteboards and they split it into three sections and then they wrote claim, evidence, and reasoning. And so they had to identify the claim, do the evidence, and do the reasoning. And then we talked about the importance of the fact that we want our observations and our data to be observations, not interpretations. And um, that was really good because I was looking at some of the evidence the students were writing down and there were some interpretations in there. So that was a really good talking point. And the students did really great with it. I took pictures of all of their whiteboards and we kind of ran out of time at that point, so now I'm going to use it as a springboard tomorrow to talk about the qualities of a good claim evidence reasoning statement. 
So that wrapped up my CP class. And then as far as AP, they have their summer assignment test tomorrow. Um, so I spent some time today. Again, I made them a video too about course norms. I'm like, I'm not gonna like waste your time doing that and talking about it. Um, I did get them registered for our online web learning um, program with Cengage. So they spent time doing that. And then I put in some optional assignments for that. So I was able to kind of just create a question bank of questions that they could try out. It was completely optional if they wanted to practice some of them. And then after that, I gave them a practice test to work on. So it was pretty straightforward. Tomorrow's their summer test, so I actually have to go work on that. I hope this video was helpful. I know it was kind of short and sweet, but um, just wanted to share some things that I'm doing. And if you have not started school yet and you're interested in trying some of my ideas, I'd love to know anything that you're gonna be trying. So please feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you have have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week.